Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious tricolor drowned taquitos. In case you guys want to how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Okay, so we're going to begin by making our tacos. We're going to grab our small pot, fill it at halfway with water, set it at a medium high heat, and allow the water to come to a boil. Once the water comes to a boil, we're going to add salt, half of an onion, garlic, two bay leaves, and two pounds of chicken. And now we're just going to bring it to a boil again. Okay, so once it comes to a boil, we're going to remove all of the impurities our chicken let out. Okay, so once the broth is nice and clean, we're going to add three medium potatoes. Make sure that you peel them and wash them real good. We're going to reduce the heat to medium low, cover it, and allow it to cook for 25 minutes. Okay, so after 25 minutes, we're going to get our potatoes and chicken out of the broth. Your potatoes should be really soft. Test them. Okay, so I'm also going to get the onion and the garlic out. And we're going to use the same broth to boil our chiles and tomatoes for our salsas. So add six tomatillos, four serranos, three tomatoes, one jalapeño, three New Mexico o guajillo, and chile de árbol. And we're just going to allow them to soak for about five minutes and then we can get them out. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to get everything out. And I'm going to begin by getting everything for my green salsa. So that's the tomatillos and the chile serranos. Okay, so for the red salsa, we're going to get out the tomatoes, the jalapeno, New Mexico chili pots, and the chile de árbol. Okay, now we're just going to turn it off and set everything to the side. Okay, so now we can get ready to shred our chicken. Okay, so once we have our chicken all nice and shredded, we can finish up making our filling. Okay, so to our potatoes, we're going to add three tablespoons of butter, three tablespoons of sour cream, We're just going to smash down our potatoes. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to season it with some adobo seasoning, or you can add your favorite seasonings, along with some garlic salt. And now we're going to return our chicken. And to that, we're going to add two cups of shredded cheese. I'm using queso Oaxaca, but of course you can use your favorite melting cheese. Now just mix everything together. Okay, so once we have that, you can taste it for salt to see if you want to add any more. For me, it's perfect. So now we're just going to set it to the side and continue working on our salsa. Okay, so we're going to begin by making a green salsa. So we're going to blend our tomatillos and chile serranos along with a handful of cilantro, a small piece of onion, one garlic clove, a quarter cup of broth, and salt. And now we're just going to blend till we have a smooth salsa. Okay, so once we have that, we're going to set it to the side. And for our red salsa, we're going to add a small piece of onion, one garlic clove, a half a teaspoon of oregano, salt, and half a cup of the broth. And now we're just going to blend until we have a smooth salsa. Okay, so once we have both of our salsas, now we can get ready to make the third salsa. So we're going to be frying our salsa, so grab your frying pan, set it on medium heat, and add a little bit of oil. And just allow the oil to heat up. Okay, so once hot, we're going to add our sauce. Make 
Make sure you mix it and allow it to come to a simmer. And do the same to the red one. I'm going to add a little water to my blender. And once it begins to simmer, try it for salt and see if you want to add any more. Okay, and once it comes to a simmer, reduce the heat to the lowest setting and allow them to simmer for five minutes. Okay, so after five minutes, we're going to turn off our salsas, set them to the side, and now we're going to grab a small pan or pot, set it on medium-low heat, and we're going to get ready to make our white sauce. So to that, we're going to add one can of media crema. Four ounces of cream cheese. Make sure that it is at room temperature. A quarter of a cup of sour cream. Or crema mexicana. A quarter of a cup of milk. Three tablespoons of pickle jalapeno juice. And I'm going to season it with garlic salt, onion powder, and white pepper. And that's all going to be to taste. And now we're just going to dissolve our cream cheese and mix everything together. Okay, so just whisk it until the cream cheese dissolves. And once it dissolves, we're going to add a quarter of a cup of cheese. I'm using queso Oaxaca. And now we're just going to allow it to melt. And at this point, you can try it for salt and see if you want to add any more of your spices. Okay, so just continue waiting for the cheese to melt. And then just like that, we have our white sauce. Okay, so once the cheese melts, this is what your sauce should look like. So at this point, our sauce is ready. So now we're just going to set it to the side and now we can get ready to make our tacos. Okay, so now we're going to grab a frying pan, set it on medium heat, add a little bit of oil, and I'm going to add two toothpicks just so like that I can prevent the oil from burning. And my oil is ready. At the same time, you also wanna get your tortillas ready. Put them in the microwave or in the comal, just so like that they're nice and soft so that they don't rip when you fold them. And at this point, we can get them ready with our stuffing. You add as much as you want. Just going to fold them or roll them and fry. And now just fry your taquitos until they're nice and golden. Okay, so once the taquitos are nice and golden, we're going to remove them from the oil. Drain as much oil as possible. And we're just going to continue repeating the process. Alrighty guys, so once we have all of our tacos ready, now we can get ready for the fun part. Alrighty guys, and now for the fun part, putting our tacos together. So I'm going to begin by drowning my two tacos in green salsa. So just drown them. And with our white sauce. And lastly, our red sauce. And my mouth is already watery, let me tell you. Okay, and of course you add as much as you want. And now we're going to top it with some crema mexicana. in queso fresco. And of course, you can add some avocado, onions, whatever you want, but we're going to keep it simple. And just like that, we have our delicious tricolor drowned tacos. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you that I am so ready. Of course, you know, as soon as you serve them, make sure that you enjoy them. So like that, your taquitos are still a little crunchy, you know, and you get to enjoy the whole bandera mexicana right here. Uh, but I am so ready, you guys. And also I forgot to mention that for the white sauce, make sure that you keep it on the lowest setting on your stove so like that it doesn't thicken up. And in case it does thicken up, just add a little more milk. Um, but yeah, just keep it on the lowest setting and then make sure that you mix it constantly. But I am sorry, I'm going to start with my verde over here. And there are, seriously, my mouth is so watery. So cheers and enjoy.
Mm-hmm. The best part about these sake dolls is, is that you get to enjoy them all at the same time. Mm. Can never go wrong with salsa verde. And then of course we have our queso sauce here. Mm. And the salsa verde is a little spicy, but then you have the, the wine sauce that evens it out. Mm. Lastly, we have the roja. And the best part is, oops. The best part is that the filling goes so good with all three of them. It's honestly the best. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how I make some delicious three-color drum taquitos. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share with your friends and family, and if you regret this recipe, please don't forget to tag me in any of my social medias, and if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, see you guys, for our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.